and then yeah about the goat movement for all components so you, you know i mean you might have heard about the functionality of the back flushing and auto goats receipt right so here this goats movement for all components it basically talks about the back flushing so the back flushing functionality it is basically you know it helps uh, to consume the components automatically that have been assigned to the corresponding phase upon confirming that particular operation or phase okay so let's say we have assigned uh, 10 components uh, to the first phase and uh, five components to the second phase so and now here you're not following the goods issue process so you have re released the order and you have started the manufacturing process but there uh, whenever you pick the raw materials from the store you're not directly posting the 261 movement you basically pick whatever is needed for the manufacturing process and the actual quantity will be updated when you post the confirmation so i have already made another i mean uh, a separate video for the uh, back flushing scenario and you uh, you can refer that video for more details on how that scenario works so if you enable this indicator over here for the all components it means that the priority will be given to this particular order type based on its configuration okay so if you have enabled this here it means that whenever you uh, perform a, a confirmation on this particular order type in this plant so then all the components should, would be uh, issued automatically and there are again you know uh, four or five uh, priorities like which will be given the first priority so we have several places where we assign this automatic goods issue starting from the material master uh, the uh, operations i mean to say the master recipe the work center and this configuration so that uh, video of what i just mentioned so it gives you a detailed in, uh, information on what all places we can enable uh, the automatic goods issue which has its uh, priority so on and so forth so please check that video if you are interested to know and then the individual uh, entry general so here we have you know the confirmation type so whenever we open the transaction c or 6 and you would see the confirmation type coming out as you know partial confirmation or automatic or final so that depends based on the uh, confirmation type that we predefine uh, in this configuration screen and then you have clear open reservations so we basically activate this uh, checkbox whenever we have the confirmation type as a final confirmation but we should not have this clear open re open reservations enabled for this partial confirmation why because we are just confirming that operation partially out of 100 kg we are just manufacturing 50 kg right so in that scenario where you are just partially manufactured if you activate this it means that all reservations for the components will be cleared upon this confirmation uh, posting so that is the reason uh, it has been recommended to basically use the uh, clear open reservation at the time of final confirmation so this is the option where the user is going to use whenever he feels that the entire operation ha has been manufactured and can be posted into the system so there is no leftover quantity on that particular operation only then you have to use this final confirmation Uh, option along with the clear open reservations and then we have uh, the error handling of logs so if i activate this or deactivate this so if you look at this the termination of incorrect uh, actual cost and the termination of incorrect goods payment these are basically disabled right so only when i activate it then i i have the flexibility to uh, choose these options so incorrect actual cost so let's say you have uh, no activity types defined in that particular uh, period for the work center i mean uh, for the cost center and the activity type on the work center that has been assigned to the operation so now there might be few errors or warning saying that the cost center is not set up with the activity type so and so in this period so there is no price over there right so in that uh, situation it is better to you know terminate such uh, transactions or such confirmations if we allow i mean by not activating these check boxes it means that the 
production user he is not aware whether the activity type has been assigned to the cost center or is the cost center valid on this particular day or the value for that particular activity type is uh, consistent on the uh, current period so he is not aware of that totally right so will be taken care by the costing department so uh, to be on the safer side it is always recommended to use the actual cost and then termination of incorrect actual cost as well these two options so whenever there is no such um, uh, value or the kp26 values are not defined uh, in that particular period so then automatically the confirmation would be cancelled so these are kind of you know a kind of a process improvement that you can uh, propose and then goods movement so termination of incorrect goods movement so let's say we have released an order a process order which has few components that are less than the required quantity and now you are uh, using the back flush functionality and where uh, you know the confirmation happens and then the 261 happens in the background that's where the actual consumption will take place so now in that particular storage location whatever you assigned in the uh, uh, process order for that particular component there is no sufficient stock we have a requirement of 10 pieces and we have only four pieces available in the stock so now if you activate this particular checkbox let's say for the goods movement and then check this option termination of incorrect goods movement then there is no sufficient stock then that particular confirmation will be cancelled by the system itself it will not allow you to post it any further but if you do not use this option okay you have disabled uh, the goods movement here it means that the transaction will be posted the confirmation will be saved but this log will go and sit in the transaction of the uh, post processing of goods movements something like kogi okay so again that would be a headache for the finance team during the month end process um, i mean to say the costing team during the month end process while they settle uh, and uh, make an evaluation check on the uh, work in process orders so it would give them a huge list of uh, you know orders that are uh, sitting in that particular uh, post processing records so unless we clear those entries the costing team wouldn't be able to you know uh, settle those process orders in that particular period so it's a big headache for both the departments for the costing and as well as the production department in they just need to spend their uh, entire month and uh, you know uh, time uh, in order to resolve these errors from those logs so if you just activate this two options so at that instance itself the user will be made aware that uh, there is no sufficient stock in this uh, storage location so that he can take necessary uh, resolution steps maybe by changing the storage location or maybe by uh, pouring some more inventory into that particular storage location okay and then we have uh, the uh, proposal of shifts so if you are using into the shift uh, management then you, you can choose this option whether the system should use you know the uh, automatic proposal of the shift based on the time of the uh, server or the uh, the sap system and then we have the individual entry of operation with uh, the initial screen so here you know whenever you uh, input the process order along with the phase number uh, in the cor6 and transaction so the quantities and the activities are proposed automatically right based on the values that are predefined in the process order so, so that basically happens you know based on the configurations that we enable in this particular screen so this uh, node it basically talks about the quantities so should they be proposed automatically or not and the same way for the activities should they be proposed automatically or not if not required then you can just uh, disable these uh, check boxes and if yes you just need to activate it in the same way for the dates and the hr data as well so that's about the parameters in the order confirmation so if we come back uh, one step back to the confirmation let me minimize this so the final thing we have here is uh, the default operation assignment so that would be under the operation itself it should be here the task list selection and then you have the define default values so if you open this it's going to ask for a plant so you have to assign the plant and then you can assign the order types 
So let's say when I uh, create, let me take one example. So I'm going to copy this. And here I have the order type as uh, PI01. So these are few mandatory parameters that are basically required when you uh, create an operation in the process order. So here, you know, the control key, it basically comes from the work center or the resource, right? So here, if we are planning to assign a resource, then it is fine. Uh, you can assign any particular fixed uh, or a predefined uh, resource or a work center. So whenever you create uh, a process order with this combination of the plant and the order type, and there is no material in it. So we are creating a process order that has no material. So which should be an, a rework process order, right? So in that case, system will always ask for a operation or a phase to be assigned, uh, you know, whenever you create uh, the rework order. So since you are not aware of it at the time of creation itself, so you have to first create the order and then go into the operations tab and then assign the uh, operations, you know, whatever are required to perform the rework activity. So that should be the second step. But for the first step, since you are going at with the creation of the rework op, uh, process order directly, you can have a kind of a dummy uh, data as a predefined uh, in the configuration setup. So here you can assign your uh, control key. If you'd like to create a control key, maybe for the rework activity, so then you can assign it over here. And then the task list unit, if you are uh, having it as in kg or grams or milligrams or pieces or uh, boxes, so the task list unit uh, from the master recipe, uh, whatever you, you use for the, uh, you know, the, uh, finished product or the, or the semi-finished that can be assigned over here and then the usage sh it should be as uh, production and then you have the denominator and the numerator it should be as one and then the base quantity and finally we have the work center and operation so here these are not a fixed value though you uh, predefine these values over here uh, in the plant and the order type combination so once you start creating the uh, rework process order you can very well you know, modify these values uh, in the process order itself.